Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video I want to talk about intrapulmonary and intrapleural pressures. So, what happens is air is initially going to enter the lungs because we have a greater atmospheric pressure and a lower intrapulmonary pressure. So, remember the atmospheric pressure isn't going to change. If you're in your living room, the pressure that's outside of your oral cavity or nasal cavity isn't always going to be varying if it's going to be pretty much constant so we we need to take into account the fact that the atmospheric pressure is constant so the lungs and the via the mechanisms of ventilation we have an alternating intrapulmonary pressure in order for the mechanism of ventilation to proceed so intrapulmonary pressure must fall below atmospheric pressure for inhalation or above atmospheric pressure for exhalation. Now let's talk about another concept which is known as intrapleural pressure and to simplify it it's the pressure which you can which you have in between the lungs and the thoracic wall or the chest wall. Now remember there is a type of elasticity and elastic tension uh, between the lungs and the thoracic wall because they're both fairly elastic in in terms of their expansion and um, because of this because of the fact that the lungs pull in one direction and the thoracic wall also pulls in another direction the lungs move down with the chest wall moves up and out up and out then um, what's going to happen is it creates a sort of tension or pressure when it recoils back into its original position and this is known as a subatomic pressure which is called uh, intrapleural pressure and this is the pressure in between these these two structures the lungs itself and the chest wall or the thoracic wall so normally what's going to happen is we have the intrapleural pressure which is normally lower during inspiration because of expansion of the thoracic cavity than it is during expiration and uh, Usually what's going to happen is, in the case of the normal method of uh, ventilation, in the intrapulmonary pressure, so the pressure inside of the lungs, is going to be greater than intrapleural pressure. And what this does is it helps to keep the lungs against the chest wall. Okay, so that's all I want to talk about and I hope you found this video useful.